It is one of the most historic and consequential Supreme Court decisions in decades. Nearly 50 years of protection for abortion rights overturned today. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jim Adley. I'm Sean Yancey. Thanks for joining us. The demonstrations continue outside the Supreme Court at this hour. They started before the decision even came down this morning. The crowds have been peaceful to this point and no arrests have been reported. In a five to four ruling, the court's conservative majority overturned Roe versus Wade, giving each individual state the ability to restrict even ban abortions. This decision met with high emotion on both sides of this deeply personal and divisive issue. We have team coverage from the Capitol to the court and the impact this decision will have locally. We begin with Darcy Spencer. She's been speaking with demonstrators all day. Darcy. Well, Sean, that's right. We are here on First Street in Northeast Washington. This is the road that runs right in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. It has been shut down to allow for these demonstrations, which have been growing throughout the day. I was here this morning when this decision came down. The reaction was immediate, and it was emotional. Rise right, up for abortion, rise right, for abortion, rise, right, rise right, up. Passionate demonstrators on both sides of the abortion debate flooded the street outside the U.S. Supreme Court following the decision to overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. Some were here since early morning anticipating a possible ruling. I've been waiting this all my life. The Roe v. Wade was uh, decided when I was in middle school, and I have been fighting for this for my entire life. And to be here on this historic day is just beyond words to me. Others joined the protest after the news broke just after 10 this morning. I didn't know where else to go or what else to do. Um, you know, it's just really depressing, even though we knew it com was coming. And it's, it's just a terrible day for the country. It's going to set so many people back. It's going to have a negative impact on so many lives. Those supporting abortion rights were angry and empowered to fight back. They say it's a setback that can't be allowed to stand, that it will endanger lives. I didn't want to be here. I didn't think I had to be here because it is settled law. It's not going to stop abortions. Um, it, it's just going to make them unsafe. On the other side, celebrations. <laughs> Fresh signs saying, I am the post Roe generation handed out to young anti abortion rights advocates. Well, I'm a Christian, so, you know, in the Bible, we're called to, uh, you know, fish for souls and bring them over to the kingdom and give them eternal life. But the only way we can do that is if they're born first. One pro abortion rights demonstrator called for people to fill the streets with fury to fight back in a nonviolent way. Those who support the court ruling call for more action, too, to elect lawmakers who will further restrict abortion rights in their states. These demonstrations have been going on now for the last seven hours since that decision came down. I'm seeing that even more people are continuing to show up. No sign of the demonstrations letting up. There have been no reports of any violence and we have not seen any arrests taking place. Very peaceful out here outside the U.S. Supreme Court, but obviously very passionate voices. Back to you. Passionate on both sides of that debate. Darcy, thank you.